It is really, really tight between going out and going through. And certainly the drivers, Ocon, Gasly, they're looking over their shoulders. So is Piastri as well, who continued to run out there. He did not come in for new tyres, so he continued to push on. They're queuing up here. If you need an improvement, this is not what you want to see on the circuit. It's not what Pierre Gasly wants to see. They're fighting for track position when they're trying to set one lap pace. And the Alpines having to take uh, an excursion over the road, trying to find a piece to tarmac who gets over the line in time and who is done magnuson up to p7 his session is done everyone else has a chance to respond but they're fighting over track position at the end there bottas up to seventh alonso comes over the line with the fastest time gasly's lap was impeded ocon trying to get through at his teammates expense can he do it as he comes across the line he can he's up to fifth place gasly in the drop zone gasly's stuffed he's absolutely stuffed he came over carlos Sainz, who will pick up a penalty i'm sure Sainz was dithering in the road oh lock up lock up there for joe and he makes the call Corner. Hamilton goes up to third. De Vries is out. He couldn't improve. Gasly is out as well. Across the line goes Joe to go up to 18th, but he's heading out of the session. Piastri's decision to stay on the intermediate tyre paying off. He moves forward. Russell goes to fourth. Gasly, De Vries, Joe, Sonoda and Sargent. Can Yuki Sonoda change that? Can he find a way out of the drop zone, having been wearing away at these intermediate tyres? Stand on the throttle, take it up through the gears. Can he turn last? into 15th at least that's what he's looking for no he just misses out by 16 thousandths of a second that is going to be science impeding there surely it was tough already with the alpha towery coming through and then gasly almost just swipes into the back of him and carlos there is just bang on the racing line should be banned for such a thing i'm coming at 300 like what the hell is that thing and it's Sonoda, his old teammate Gasly, his current teammate De Vries, Sergeant and Joe. It really was step forward or head out. Wow, no way has he kept that out of the wall. Lance Stroll playing one of his jokers for the season. How is he not painted down the barrier? Wow, he's just flicked the, uh, the front wing then into the barrier, but I think you'll get away with even that. Yeah, training here a bit. Alvin goes over the line with the fastest time. He asked for the slick tyre before anyone else in the field. He delivers the lap time. And if it starts raining now, Williams are once again reading wet conditions nicely. Russell and Alonso are still out there on intermediates. Alonso is going quickly on those inters, though. Here he is, fastest through the first sector. He's decent through the middle. Comes into the final corner, turns in. He's going to just lock in for the inters and hope that there is some rain coming. This is a bold call from Aston Martin because pretty much everyone else out there, there's five drivers on intermediates. Hamilton is 13th and still on inters as well. If it doesn't rain, they could be left in the lurch here. OK, watch Norris's next lap. That's the one we're looking at. It's raining. It's raining. Extraordinary stuff in Montreal. Alex Albon could book his place in Q3, but there's a Ferrari, a car swept away off the racing line. He's got the tyre temperature, he's got the grip, he's got the fastest middle sector. What a gamble from Williams. What a gamble from Alexander Albon. Faster than the rest of the field by a second. Hamilton is the car ahead and he's just got himself up into the top five. So Lewis has dug out a lap. What about Lando Norris then on the soft tyre? I'm watching it on the timing page. It's third fastest. Piastri's just gone into fourth position. Williams fastest. Red Bull second with a championship leader. Then McLaren three and four. Rain in the air. Slick tyres on the cars. Heavier rain in two to three minutes. Perez has bolted on Inters. Perez didn't like those slick tyres, he's gone for inters and others on the slicks are improving. Albon stays top, Verstappen second, Norris and Piastri now on soft tyres are third and fourth. Perez was out there on the right tyre at the right time, but he's come back for the intermediate. It's really harder now. Sergio Perez admits defeat. This is his worst run in qualifying since 2019. To leave his team principal, Christian Horner, shaking his head. One Red Bull in second, one Red Bull in 12th. No one able to improve out there. Charles Leclerc heading out along with Sergio Perez and Leclerc asked for slicks. The team said, set your time on Inters and there's no grip to be found out there for the Monagas driver who will head out in the second part of qualifying. Yeah, tires were not ready, come on!
Leclerc out, Perez out, Stroll as well, the home favourite. Magnussen, after a wonderful practice earlier on where he was fourth, exits in 14th place. And Valtteri Bottas puts 15th on the board at this circuit. Fernando Alonso is going faster behind in the early stage of the lap. We'll keep you updated with that. Throw it into the final chicane. This might be the only chance you get in Q3. Max Verstappen throws the time down to the rest of the field. It's a 1.27.0 to beat. Does anyone have an answer to that man? Fernando Alonso is fastest in the middle sector. Ocon goes over the line in second position. We wait now to see what Hulkenberg can do. Car 27 at the circuit shield field up to third position so they're in order that they're setting the time but it's this man who is absolutely majestic through the final corner a man who hasn't been on pole since 2012 can he head to the front of the field no he just misses out by two tenths of a second so it is that balance between improving and keeping it within the white lines hamilton across the line hamilton to third superb stuff there at the end of his lap when he really needed it in the final few sectors hamilton was majestic there as he came across the line his teammate george russell goes into fourth and we're excited we're animated about this because it might be the only chance that they get take two yellow flag is out in the middle part of the lap at the final part of the lap verstappen trying to take it across the line and take it away from the field what a mighty improvement for the reigning world champion 1.4 seconds ahead and oscar piastri finds the barriers and that i think might end this session effectively seven minutes left on the clock and hulkenberg wall. hulkenberg improves to second place before the red flag came out no no it's, uh, i can see now broken. sorry sorry about that yeah it just Desperate to get on the uh, on the throttle, had a little play and then went harder on the gas. There's a short straight coming up after it, and it's quite important. And uh, just too much right pedal there for uh, Piastri. Slam into the barriers that greets you right there on the exit. Uh, it's a lot wetter already. It's very wet out here. It's almost extremes. Conditions are yeah, impossible. Holkenberg last on the front row in 2016 at the Austrian Grand Prix. The rain is too heavy. There is no improvement to be found out there. The timing of the red flag crucial. Holkenberg did the lap time though. He stepped forward at the vital moment. A 25th career pole for Max Verstappen, a third front row for Nico Holkenberg, and Fernando Alonso completes the top three. He's there once again this season.